Visiting with head coach Jack Crow here at OBC Football Media Day. You're picked to win the league again this year, third yeah. time in four years. Says something about your program, does it not? Well, it says something about Jacksonville State tradition, I think, because, uh, you know, we're still the only school that's won a national championship in football, basketball, and baseball. I think people realize that the tradition of Jacksonville State for, for a long time has been that winning is important, and I think whenever – I think they give us the benefit of the doubt. You know, we, we really almost didn't have anybody on the offensive all-conference team. So there's something being factored in here other than who's got the best players. Uh, but I, I think we legitimately could, you know, hold that spot. Well, let's talk about your offense. you got Marquez, a leaner, meaner maybe Marquez uh, Ivory Bay. Looks uh, like he's in great shape going into workouts. You've added with Sean Ely. You may have to replace a couple of guys at wide out, but Bonner yeah. and folks can step in there. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be as explosive on offense this year as you were a year ago? We, we could be. We could. We could be as, if not more, explosive uh, uh, as we've ever been. I, I think key for us, Mike. You know this stuff. I mean, you've seen a bunch of football. You've seen good and bad and ugly. You know, we, we'll get back to being what we're supposed to be when we can run the football, and that's what Sean brings us at. But I think our ability to create those explosive plays is is there. But I think what we've got to do is make sure that we can control the line of scrimmage and run the football with enough consistency uh, where all the all the pieces work together. Uh, we were very fortunate last year to have some explosive plays like we did, you know, to, to win some ball games. And the, those guys that made those for the most part are back. So um, we're, you know, we're, we're, I think we could be as good as we've ever been on offense. Start with Marquez, add a leaner, meaner. Uh, meaner I, I don't know if that's the case but but I think this is the first football team Mike that we've ever had that I would say is led by its defense I think we've been for the most part an offensive football team or in some kind of balance between offense or defense you know the tradition also going back to the the, the bandits uh, going back to the Burgess and Pell and everybody was that we were we were a defensive football team and I don't think probably in the 10 years leading up to this or 11 years that you could have really said that that was the case. But I think this is the first year maybe you could say that. New defensive coordinator, yeah. uh, one of the first changes in your staff yeah. really in the last couple of years. Uh, Chris Boone, does he bring a different philosophy yeah. to the table yeah, for you? he does. And um, I don't know that I can define it. You know, I've had Bill Oliver, brother Oliver, working uh, with us, just basically him and Chris working together. I see, I see a lot of brothers' style of play and uh, uh, style of coaching and mentality, and that excites me because I've, I've always thought an enormous uh, amount for, for Bill, and I think Chris is of that same mold. Uh, and we've changed. You're talking about changing coaches. Actually, let me think here. I think we only have two coaches, three coaches, that are coaching the same position they did last year. We really did went, go through a coaching reevaluation, adjustment. Uh, we'll just have to see if we're better coaches than we were last year, because I'd start with me. Uh, it, it needed to be looked at, and I, th I think we've made ourselves better. All right, one last thing. Yep. Open the season Thursday, September the 1st. It is a OVC game. You start yep. with a league contest against Love Tennessee it. Martin. Yeah. Puts a lot of it does. Uh, on us on that it first does. one, doesn't it? And, and the urgency of it, I think, can help us. I think what also will help us is being able to spend a month in August focusing on who we are and developing us. When you, when you open up with those FBS games, you know when you start out there's a difference, and you're just trying to – you know, to handle what the differences are, you know, and just get in the right position instead of just uh, being being who you are, defining yourself instead of trying to define the, yourself against somebody that's obviously got got some issues for you. So uh, I love it. I don't think it happened at a better time. I think it'll bring out the best in us. Uh, we'll find out right off the bat if this uh, prognostication of being number one works. Good luck, sir. Thank you, Mike.